What is up, guys? Hey! Welcome We're to back. <laughs> welcome to part five of our Terraria playthrough. I'm Lauren the Link, and I am Tom. And today we're going to build a graveyard. I already collected a lot of gravestones, and before we start this episode, I found a garden gnome. I don't know why, but it was wait, okay, it was right here. Yep, a random standing. garden gnome spawned like just here. And it didn't even attack and it was creepy. Kinda creepy, yeah. It was like spying on us. It reminds me of that one Goosebumps episode. I don't know if one of the viewers remembers it or knows about it. But that stuff was creepy back in the olden days. Anyways, we're going to make a creepy. A graveyard. A creepy ga a graveyard. <laughs> yes. So the original plan was to build it like right here. Yes, but when I accidentally placed another tombstone, there came mist and. Uh, yeah, like a graveyard creates mist and the whole screen turns desaturated and uh, it was even visible from right here. Yes. Like when you stand here, there's no graveyard. Stand right here, and you're in the graveyard biome. So that all remains spawning ghosts in our town, basically. Which is not good. So we decided upon a new spot. And as always, if you have any suggestions, let them know in the comments. But the new graveyard spot is going to be on the other side. Not on the other side of the whole map, like where the ocean is. Because that's where our angler is. Yeah, we want to keep the graveyard a little bit apart from important places like our... Bunny! Um, I'm gonna capture Like it. the main spawn point for now. Basically mm -hmm. right here. And our tree. And on the left side there's the crimson area so it doesn't seem very safe for now. I mean eventually, yeah. Maybe uh. more graveyards in the future, but for now we decided to build it around here. So when the graveyard Aha, biome starts to here. become misty, the mist will enter the cave sorta. Hopefully. We'll see. First up I'm gonna remove the flowers, which is a good idea. Yeah, I mean graveyards and flowers could combine. I don't know. Um, they will grow whenever stuff is already enough so I'm just gonna remove them even the vines for now since yeah, they will grow back I'll be cleaning up uh, the area a bit wanna keep it a little bit more straight I think it'll look cleaner right mm, yeah I mean it's graveyard doesn't really need to be clean per se but you get the idea wanna prepare the area a bit so I was thinking about maybe building a stair around the entrance, make the entrance more um, official, oh, wow. like a there's real a entrance. Of, there's a lot of slimes getting here. Okay, so I might have gotten. Oh, nice! I got. Uh, hey, congratulations! I'm probably gonna put it in a cave up here since it's green and it's <laughs> not really noticeable, but eh, as well. It'll do. I had an idea as well, and I was like, that we made the graveyard in a cave. Uh, oops. Trying to clean it up, but uh, yeah. Alright. So perhaps making um, a bit more space on the floor right here. I'm gonna help clean up. Should we use stone for an entrance? Uh, yeah, I think so. I was thinking about making some dirt block road, sorta. A pot. I'll um, get our stone from the house. Oh, 
Although I don't have much stone at the end. The, oh wow. The chest has 99... 999 stone and then another set of stone with 429 stone so we probably have enough stone i probably need more torches wait should we use a chandelier um maybe oh we we will need to use cobwebs probably since it's gonna be spooky. So I'm just gonna take that with me. Oh, that's uh, actually a pretty good idea using cobwebs. I'm gonna take more torches as well. All Where right. I'm pinky in front of the door. Okay, how much can I get from the pinky? I'm still digging out the graveyard area. Wow, the pinky just jumped like a lot far jump like uh, from our door all the way to this part where I'm standing and I got 25 gel oh while you're at the house could you grab a chest all oh, right I'll uh, take that out with me also in the meanwhile catching some insects whenever I get the chance because we will be fishing uh, pretty soon I guess uh -huh. Gotta fix uh, some quests for the angler Because he has some important items that we really really need Both like, of us, so we need we to do really, a lot of fishing um, We really would need a golden fishing rod Alright, uh, um, I've dug out a little bit uh, of the graveyard area already I don't think it's enough, but I was Lazy. thinking about uh, building some actual graves on the ground, Ooh. like uh, some chambers, you know? Oh, yes. I am thinking about Ocarina of Time right now. <laughs> Me too. Ocarina of Time also has uh, an entrance to the... Royal Chamber? Yeah, I mean, uh, there are some entrances below the graves, but there's also the entrance to the Shadow Temple, all the way in the back. So that kind of reminded me uh, about Ocarina. Maybe we can do something with that, and I was thinking that this was an entrance to the cave, with stone around it. Um, I can kind of make the idea. In it. But yeah, the idea of making a Queen of Time inspired graveyard sounds pretty cool, right? Uh -huh. But that kind of means we need to make, spoiler alert, Kakariko Village right next to it. Uh -huh. So perhaps, perhaps, I mean, let us know in the comments. Should we do more Zelda related? Uh, References in the game. I mean, could be fun, but yeah. also a bit hard, maybe. I mean, Kakiko has uh, the familiar windmill with the Song of Storms, of course. Kind of hard to uh, recreate that. All right, and we also need to uh, stop the spread of the grass. So I'll be. Placing some uh, basic stone right here. Um, the rain song. <laughs> As well, the song of storms is kind of is related to rain, and my guitar is called the rain song. Basically. As well, what do you think of the entrance so far to the cave? Uh, kind of looks pretty cool, right? Okay, I really oh, need I to mean, to... maybe not the roof. So, uh, perhaps you should um, uh, place some Ocarina of Time graveyard images or videos on the second screen. For reference. Mm. Oh, right? check. As well... 
story will be uh, not on the screen while I'm checking. Oh, I got the banner, so I'm good, just gonna hang that up there as well. Alright, I made a little safety wall. All right, next up, um, some some actual chambers. Uh, how should we make them? I was thinking about maybe two blocks uh, in width, right? Maybe with chests in them. Yeah, perhaps, or maybe a little bit bigger. I already got some chests, and I might look how it. Yeah, except yes. not so close to the entrance, I think. I think we need to uh, keep the entrance a bit more clear. I don't know. I mean, we'll see. I'm gonna search um, oh. some shadow temple pictures right now. I was thinking I'm about maybe four, the... or maybe that's too big. I'm Three, sorry maybe. if the screen will go away. When I'm on my Google searching, yeah, th Shadow. there's this little bug in Terraria where the full screen um, button in game or the shortcut Alt does uh, Alt plus Enter doesn't really work as, in as intended. So yeah, that's why the Terraria screen might go away. Not on my screen because I'm not Alt studying, but uh, on the screen of Dawn. In-game name Sarah, of course. Her uh, Toraya went down because she's all tubbing to search for some graveyard pictures. Right now, I'm checking the Shadow Temple pictures. Yeah, you can move the Google results over. There we go. As you see, I typed it in and this is what I'll see. Uh, just going to help Dawn a bit with her search. If I can type from here, ah. this will do. Oh yeah, the entrance sign. We need something like that. <laughs> Someone kind of uh, recreated it in Minecraft. <laughs> of course they did. Look, as you see here on the picture in Minecraft. Yeah. All right. I'll um, need more picture. Let's see. So I created the little barrier on the left in the rock. Mm -hmm. So basically that would mean there's no grass going to grow on here. I don't know if grass will grow if it's a graveyard though. Maybe it'll all die out? I don't know. Uh, I'm locking you up. Um, that's some picture I get. Slight problem. <laughs> There's no room. Oh, which is fine by the way. We can remove the bottom layer. there slowly but sure but yeah basically this would yeah kind of mean uh, I mean this would uh, represent the shadow temple I guess maybe one layer uh, of dirt for now so we can still enter the graves How many layers is in the cream of time? Like probably not two layers so far. Wow, that's a lot of zombies I see there. Well, um, I guess the graceful 
have one block, oh, two or one block distance, and then there will be a grave right in front of the entrance. So I'm just gonna. Yeah, but um, Queen of Time is 3D, 3D, and um, this is 2D, so we can. Can you trap me? Uh, sorry, I didn't free you yet. Okay. So what it looks like is here is an entrance, and yeah. This will look, act as a shadow temple, I think, I guess. Hmm. The entrance might be a little bit hard uh, in 2D. Can't really see um, the way you walk below it, so. Maybe we should, um, you know, sort of like create a sign like this. Uh, if that birdie doesn't kill me. Right. Was there a flying fish? So this is just a placeholder sign for now, just to see if it kind of looks uh, alright. Um, can you save me? Since I'm still looking at it. And. As I see, the sign is made of wood with walls, and yeah. I mean, a sign like this, it could do what we are looking for, but it does look a bit weird, and of course it needs to be grounded. I thought maybe perhaps with a door, I don't know, kind of tricky to create a similar shape uh, okay, interesting this, um, door picture I wanna see on the other um, hand it's just a reference I guess so uh -huh. um, that's the graveyard that looks like it like that's the entrance, that's the house, that's the sign. Mm -hmm. Graves, right there. Fence, an artifacts, graves, that, that. Then the royal family thing. Graves. But uh, yeah, I don't have the graves. You do. Mm. Alright, All right, then we need to create this little reference as well. Basically, this would be the royal family tomb. So it should have uh, access to a room where have zombies. Ah, uh, there we go. This or is actually redats in the Zelda games. Basically zombies. So. Here we have the picture with the sign. And now uh, it's made of wood. I'm just gonna leave it on the background for now. And I'm um, just right. going back in the, the game. Ah, there's a flying fish. And, uh, oh, oops. <laughs> that was very clever of me. <laughs> I trapped myself. Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Trapping myself again. <laughs> um, yeah, that's not like a good idea. Might as well help. I'm right, going to change a little bit. Like, um, I basically want a similar uh, layout as in the back. Similar, but not the same. Kind of like this. Because this one also should represent uh, one of the dungeons you can enter. But that's something for some time else, I guess. Not sure if we're able to do it in the time span of this episode. Yes. And I'm then gonna... there's... Uh, how do we enter it? Um, basically, just make it open, I guess. Just destroying the grave? Kinda, just like... 
You know? Uh, perhaps, but yeah, we'll we'll see. We'll or figure maybe it out. um planks. Um, what do you call again? I forgot. Maybe yeah. like trapdoors. Kind of. That but you can't really make a graveyard on trapdoors, I think. So oh, it might it be a little bit problematic. Uh, I don't really remember how it's called again. As well, I got um, a golden oh. chandelier. I um, mean, you probably need some stone, like extra stone. Um, perhaps. Thank. I give you all the stone I had. Alright, getting there, uh, you can start creating the graves, I think. Well, um, we have enough for these, so I'm just gonna place each down. And different types on the different spots. Ugh. These enemies are in my way. Oh, it's getting darker already. Oh, wait. The floor is still damaged. Check the screen. It's already Oi. dark. Hey, it's a grave on the, on the edge. Oops. Sorry. And it became lighter. And it's darker again. Ugh, dark. Ugh, missed. And yes, there is mist in the cave. Oh, and by the way, the way we uh, collected these graves is by uh, literally staying idle in this house and waiting for zombies to kill us. And, Basically. Uh, yeah, then we oh. respawn over here and just idle on until there's a lot of graves. Well, now this place is getting very dark. Right. Yep, it's already a graveyard. We made the graveyard biome. Done. Video ends. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, not yet. We're not done yet. Again, okay, um, of course, the sign headstone. should move, I guess, or maybe we'll, um, maybe we should uh, enlarge the graveyard later. We don't really have room for graves now. I still have a lot of them left. But uh, only zombies will spawn here and ghosts. Alright, hey look at this, a furnace, we needed it. Uh, stone, wood and torches. Not even that hard. Hmm. For some reason I didn't carry enough stone I think. I did that at the well, wood uh, I last episode. I gave you a lot of stone. Yeah, I already yeah, had some stone. 999 Whoa. stone and more. Oh wow, I, I just noticed you did give me a lot of stone. That's all the stone we had. But yeah, this looks rather good, I guess. Oi, that kind of spooked me. What spooked you? Yeah, there was uh, sun and thunder. Aha, I saw that before. Huh. Some more uh, dirt wall variations. I'm gonna change that. Oh, wait. Can I give but me one block of stone? Only one? Yes. Thank you. That's not one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can't walk with one leg. Or whatever the saying is. I don't even know if it's uh, a common phrase in okay, any really other place in the Netherlands. It's a pretty common Dutch phrase. Can't stand on one leg? I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> I don't really need more stone. Can you give me some more, please? I, I thought you said one. Well, I just needed more, I guess. That's one. One? Oh. What? That's a nice star, thanks. Hmm. Perhaps not the best idea. Just gonna cover it 
that the banners I'm still gonna put in room for banners though. Oh look at this. Uh, some new kind of zombie uh, I just killed. Kinda like a pirate zombie. I don't know. Really? Yeah it went oh, uh, yeah, it went fast. Um one of the zombies jumped on a maggot I wanted to capture. Sad. I kind of like the like it now. How it looks. Already looks like a graveyard. Uh huh. I think. I mean, looks pretty good, right? As well, I wanted to put in a chest in one of the graves where I'm gonna put in probably the fallen star and in the long in the long one, this one where I'm right above my guitar maybe as a song you'll get. Um, yeah, perhaps. As well, I'm just gonna put in the by the um, grave, the chest. Oh wait, yeah. Yeah, place a uh, chest somewhere. And that's where my fallen star is gonna go in. All right. And I'm Sounds good. Place another chest where my guard, you know, is gonna go in. But yeah, the shadow temples here. So that means we need to create a little area over here. Just I a little bit. Take the pictures with Wait, me. um basically not right here. Alright, give me a second. As well, something I remember from the entrance was Uh, wait, I'm still building. <laughs> True, but um, the statues where you have to do something with, uh, with I don't really remember what. Um, perhaps you um, mean the same thing as what I'm building right now. Wait, I see a Magod. Let's Why see if our there? viewers already know what I'm going to build right here. Almost there. Alright. It's going to be right here. Okay. Hey, I wanted to capture that. Oh, yeah, right. I kind of got uh, this yeah. one. Alright, almost ready. Gonna make this area a little bit bigger. As well, I don't know what you're gonna build. You're almost ready. If it's uh, just a tiny bit better, uh, bigger. Maybe you'll find a crystal heart. All right. Uh, kind of more for the floor. I'm gonna check out the cave and see what's in here. Oh God. Was in a graveyard cave, I guess. All right, almost there. This room is almost ready. Um, don't know about the little corner thing, but perhaps it'll work. Um, I'm move this one. Underground. Kind of have to remove this one too. Oh, you wait for me. I'm I want to explore underground as well. Um, I think I see, um, see a demon altar. Right. Need to create something else. Uh, but I kind of forgot how. Again. Do you remember how we created Tiki Torch? Uh huh. I think only wooden torches. I think so too. Maybe at crafting bench. 
I saw lost a tiki torch. There we go. And a crafting. Eight of them would probably be enough. What right, do I have to say? I saw some um, demon altar. Hmm, too bad we can't turn it on and off, so we'll need to figure something out for that later. And uh, the back wall kind of blends with the stick, so I'll need to change a little bit of that as well. Let's go for uh, a basic stone wall for now, because we have so many. And at least give this room a slightly different vibe, if the game allows me. Oh no. Oh, I fell in caught webs. I might have found a hmm, There's fire. a star up there. But right, can't just dig in empty wall. We need to create some space for that. Oh. Lightning. Um, I was stuck in cobwebs. Maybe, maybe I can reach it. I do hear something. Um, I'm just. Oh, I found a there red slime. They're getting there. I don't know how it looks like yet, but um, I'm like exploring this cave. Um, right let's here. see. Perhaps it'll. There we go. Much faster. So it needs something to connect to, otherwise you just, yeah, you move the back wall somewhere down in the dungeon and it yeah, it will be much easier to create a custom house for safekeeping or safety or whatever. So that's why I need to create some room, a little trail of... Back wall Boy, that you I have found the, the desert water color. Alright. If you're down coming down here, I found the desert cave. I'm going to keep this area like yeah, this pattern for now. Oh god. Gonna look up uh, gonna... more details. Boy, later. I found a crystal heart. What about yeah. this? Uh, one second. Oh. One more. Or perhaps another day. I mean, it doesn't really bug, bug me that much. But yeah, this is sort of the idea. A little graveyard area. And the entrance of the shadow area of Ocarina of Time. So kinda means like um, the plan is to create some red wiring, close this area right here. So there's a door right there or maybe on the right side, similar to in Ocarina of Time, to enter the cave, shadow temple or so to say. Not sure if we're going to make an actual shadow temple replica thingy, but the idea is there. Yay, we have an Queen of Time inspired graveyard! Still exploring the cave I'm in with where I got um found that crystal hard like crystal. Yeah, I want to join you. Whoa, you're rather deep. Yeah. I didn't I expect you to be that far into it. I explored a lot and sand. Also, but um, all right. Let me go a little bit back. I'm getting a lot of attacked. All right. Oi, cabby! Get away! But yeah, here's our graveyard, inspired by Ocarina of Time. I hope you guys like it. 
suggestions let us know and we'll make sure to build it in in the next episode but for now this is the end of this episode stay tuned for more mm -hmm. subscribe subscribe so you don't miss anything and in the next episode i'll be joining sarah or don down there and explore the cave so as well I'm, I'm, uh, very deep so far and yeah i uh I almost stepped on a pleasure plate. Two pleasure plates. I'm sure. Alright. I'm excited to see what you found in the cave, so. That's well, it um, for this episode. See you guys in episode six. Thank you for watching. See ya in the next episode.